damage. You got flooded homes and businesses, debris filled yards, devastation stretching for miles upon miles. Teasdale Fenton and Springdale is one of the local companies that sends crews out to help businesses affected. We think about people getting the water out of their homes. They got to get the water out of their workplaces as well. We are zooming now with Hunter Olmstead, who has actually been down in that area, I'm told, since Hurricane Haleen. Hunter, first of all, good morning. Where, where did you guys hole up between between Haleen and Milton? Yeah, so we we evacuated out of Sarasota Tuesday um, and we went over to West Palm Beach. Um, pretty much the only place we find hotels at that point uh, with all the locals and everybody else trying to get out. Yeah, uh, that's where we ended up. What have you seen from Haleen that was already there? And what are you seeing since the sun came up this morning? Yeah, so we were working uh, after Haleen and uh, Siesta Key which is where Milton made landfall. There's been no reports out of Siesta Key that I have seen yet. Um, so we're still trying to get in touch with our local office in Sarasota. Uh, we don't have cell service into uh, that office right now. Um, and as far as I know, all the bridges to the barrier islands are still closed. So I haven't seen or heard uh, how that area is doing at the moment. Yeah, we, we were just talking about Anna Maria Island. That's very interesting, not, not knowing whether you can get back out there anytime soon. But speaking of getting to places, you know, everybody's telling to get the heck out of there, you know, and then you guys are heading into that spot. What what's that like? Is it is there anxiety? Is there worry? Is there fear? Because you you know, you see all that traffic going north on 75 and you guys are going south. Yeah, absolutely. It is. It's a different feeling when you are watching standstill traffic. Uh, headed north and usually we're headed south um, and we're the only ones going southbound so it's usually a different uh, feeling it's a little eerie um, because you don't know what you're getting into uh, you don't know where you can get you don't know what the road conditions are like um, a lot of times when we travel for these natural disasters like this trees are all over the main highways you know 75 and i-10 are covered with trees down south and they're absolutely no way to get around so it definitely makes it difficult for us to get into the worst hit areas, you know, the first couple of days in. I would imagine at this point way too early to know, but when will you be home? How, how long will you be down there? Yeah, like you said, it's way too early to know. Um, I, I would suspect with the damage from Helene all over the islands and the uh, Gulf Coast of Florida and then this storm, it's going to take a, it's a long road to recovery for the state. There's no doubt about that. Um, there's a lot of people that are going to be displaced, especially on those barrier islands. Um, the only thing that I've noticed that is so far kind of a good thing is that a lot of these are second homes. So people already have another place to go to. So that is a positive that not everybody is losing everything they own or all their, you know, families, uh, heirlooms and their sentimental value items, but they have another place to go. Um, especially down, you know, along the barrier islands where it could be a second home or a vacation spot for most people. Um, that's, that's the, I guess, the light at the end of the tunnel for the local area here. So if there's a, a small business or it's a big company, do they, do they reach out to you? Is there some sort of network that you know we're going to go to this place on Tuesday, we're going to this place on Wednesday? Like, how, how does that work? Yeah, so Tizo Finn is a part of CORE, um, and CORE is a large nationwide network of uh, private, independently owned restoration companies. And there's hundreds of members in the CORE network that will either call in and say, hey, we need support, we need help. Um, and they call us in and they have, you know, all of their local uh, clients or their local customers where they can't service everybody. So they'll reach out to companies like Teasdale and ask for help and say, hey, we need help getting to these people as quick as possible. Um, so that's one way. The other way, we do have a local office in Sarasota. Um, that office is the same as the TZO that you guys are all, all used to in Cincinnati, where they call in and we get, you know, crews out to them as quick as we can. Well, Hunter, I know you're about to have a crazy busy bunch of days and probably weeks ahead. So th thanks for your time this morning. Stay safe out there, okay? All right. Thank you, Bob, for having us. We appreciate it. All right. Take care now. Uh, again, that Hunter Olmstead uh, with Teasdale Fenton. It is 915. We'll be right back.